Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to freshen up any kind of wood, any kind of box, um, anything that's wood, you can use this on. Actually, I use it on my garage door, anything that's metal actually. If it's clean and you put teak oil on it, it will give it a stronger surface and let it withstand weather better. So I got this box. It's a carved box for $8 at a secondhand store and it was very faded and you can see it was kind of the color was draining out of it kind of um, I'm sure that's probably why it was donated because it's kind of a cool thing um, but when you put the teak oil on it you can now see the designs clearly so this is without the teak oil and they looked the same before I did it and this is with the teak oil I've let the teak oil dry it's not sticky it it's soaked in I will probably do a second coat um, now that it's dried just to seal it in really well because I live in a dry state um, Also look at the top and the back. So look how different that is how beautiful the difference is. It's very deep and dark now and um, It's batik wood from Indonesia So um, it, not, it doesn't make so much of a difference You can see where I've done and where I haven't done on the dark It just you know, it'll darken it up and take any like scratches off but, um, I mean, there is a little bit of difference, but not profound. But look at where, you know, how profound it is on the dots. I mean, it just darkens it right up. So this is usually used on out, uh, teak oil is usually used on outdoor boats and um, fiberglass on my trailer I did. And it, it darkened the fiberglass up. So check out my other videos. I have one on the fiberglass, one on the trailer sides, one on... Um, the aluminum siding on my windows, I have one on my garage door, one on my grill. It, it, it shines up and takes the oxidation off of anything that you have outside. The only problem is you have to get it clean first. It will take some dirt off, but, it, but if it's like super thick and greasy or dirty, it doesn't come off. So you could do your, um, any like I've done, motorcycle parts, car parts. Um, you can do bicycles, anything that needs shining up from oxidation, you can use teak oil on. Um, and I learned this from an elder gentleman when I was trying to wax my trailer. And he's like, oh, you don't want to do all the waxing. Here, use teak oil. And uh, it was fabulous. And, and my garage door is still shiny after years. I I'm just bought a new container. This was, um, they used to carry it at Walmart. And it was about $10 at Walmart. But now it's about uh, $15 at Ace or Home Depot or somewhere like that. So I just went to our local Ace and bought this for, it's literally $14.99, so there's tax. But um, and, but it goes forever. Like, I've probably gone through four or five of these over the last few years doing my garage door and the aluminum windows. And so um, check out those videos. I show how I clean the aluminum off first, like the garage door or the siding or my trailer. Um, you can use mineral spirits or CLR. There's different things that are better for different purposes. But um, I also have used teak oil on my cupboards. Let's see if I can show you that. So they were getting kind of dull. And I mean, they, this house is, what, 40 years old or something? Well, it's probably even longer than that, thinking about it. But um, you can see they're still kind of shiny. So what I did was, you can watch the video, I just used the teak oil. And um, I always use a cotton... Um, t-shirt like a cut up t-shirt and just use it until it's kind of dirty if, it, if you're outside they'll get oxidation much quicker and the only warning I have so like I did my bathroom cupboards and any cupboards that the, the finish is kind of coming off from wear and cleaning you can use teak oil on them to, to spruce them up but you don't want to overdo where there's already some kind of lacquer on it so do very light coat and then use a, a dry clean t-shirt cotton cloth to wipe off any excess so that it doesn't cause the um, lacquer that's already on it to get sticky that's the only warning and then also if you're doing like a trailer I had a brown line down the trailer and it would oxidize and so when I would use the teak oil on the brown and then take it to the lighter it would streak so you want to use a clean cloth on the darker and clean cloth on the lighter so anyway you can see this is dry it's not greasy or sticky or anything like that but it definitely improved the look of this box and any wood. I've used it, like I said, I just keep remembering things I've used it on to share with you. But um, so ultimately, check out my blog, uh, thesecretisgratitude.com. Go to the web version and type in on the bottom of the homepage whatever you're looking for, if it's garage or trailer or 
wood, bathroom cabinets, whatever. Um, and you can see the results before and after, or you can watch my videos on The Secret is Gratitude um, channel on YouTube and just type in what you're searching for, plus The Secret is Gratitude with no spaces, and up will come those videos. Or you can go to my playlist on my channel and check those out. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a blessed day.